Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Frank here from Hypermedia. And what we have here is the Airy Sky panel. This is one of the most popular fixture in motion pictures. Uh, so let's talk about this a little bit. Powering this fixture has always been difficult. There are limitations. Uh, what we have here is the original Airy ballast that converts the AC into a 48 volt DC for this fixture to function at 100% output. But this is bulky. Although it is mounted on a convenient bracket, but still you're tethered to uh, your power source, whether it's the outlets or it's the power generator. So today we're gonna cover a couple items that'll let you uh, battery power this fixture on set in the field that's tethered free. Having battery power on set is the trend nowadays. So the most convenient way to actually power this fixture would be using these onboard 14 volt batteries. You might ask how you can power this 48 volt fixture or 28 volt uh, when it's using battery mode with just 14 volt batteries. So we have this quad station. It is not only a quad charger that charges all four batteries simultaneously. It is also a DC output station that's portable, that's drawing power from all four batteries, and you'll have 14 volt DC output and, four, and, and 28 volt DC output for this fixture in battery mode. So we're gonna hook it up in a second and power it up. Now the standard 28 volt DC output port is normally three pin XLR, and this guy right here happens to be a four pin male on the fixture side. So what we're gonna do is we have one of these adapters that adapts three pin female to four pin female. Just hook it up, plug it in, hit the power button, and we should be good to go. Onto the information that everyone wants to know. With the quad charger and four 190 watt hour batteries, Outputting 28 volt, you'll be able to power the S60, S120 at 50% capacity for two hours. And you'll get the same runtime on the S30 at full power. Now back to the complaint that we get uh, when powering this fixture in battery mode, which is when you plug into the four pin port powering it with 28 volt input because this fixture is supposed to be getting 48 volt input to be performing at 100% capacity uh, now it's only running at 50 although the the reading may say 100% but it's definitely dimmed and that is the issue that we all have the gaffers all complain about and we do have a 48 volt sky power backplate system that tackles this issue head on. All right guys, now I've swapped this out to our 48 volt Skype power backplate system. The backplate takes two 26 volt batteries just like what you would use on Alexa LF or the new Roscoe LED fixture. Um, and these batteries are generic, universal. You can use them on any fixtures or, or applications that take higher voltage batteries. Also, you may notice this. This is our signature transformer that steps up the output to 48 volt. And it makes sure that it's a constant output so you wouldn't have a dim flicker during the, the whole shoot. So this is designed conveniently with the same wedge that's in the back of the airy ballast. So you would be able to mount it very conveniently onto that bracket. Now let's take a closer look at this plate, our system, talk about runtime and spec. So this is the kind of battery that it takes. It's a gold mount 26 volt battery. It's this size, it's very compact and packs in a lot of power. It's 265 watt hour each. And they run parallel on this system so that you're getting 500 something watt hour. So we pop this in. All you need to power this fixture with our system is really to use a really short jumper cable, three pin to three pin, 
make sure you plug this onto our plate and this time you're gonna make sure that you go into that 3 pin XLR port that says 48 volt DC on it now all you need to do is hit the power master switch and then your sky panel should be on in a second now this time let's look at the the brightness of the fixture you crank it all the way up to 100 you'll be able to see that it doesn't show you a voltage because this is deemed as an AC input as I mentioned earlier in this video the system runs on two 26 volt batteries the system runs them in parallel which means you get double the power that's about one hour on S60 and S120 at full power non-stop and about two hours on the S30 the system is really well balanced weighs about 9 pounds and sits just like the ballast